Hello, welcome back once again to The Carpenter Shop, where we're taking a look at how do we grow deeper in our journey of faith? What can we learn about God and how we can be closer to that person that He created us to be? Today, in The Carpenter Shop, I want to share with you this verse, Proverbs 27, verse 19. It says, a water reflects a face, so a man's heart reflects the man. Uh, I don't know about your history or your background, but I come from an era where every once in a while the photographers would come to church and we would put together these things called church directories. We do it different these days. Here at the Church of 434 we have one. It's available on the app and if you're not on that and you're a part of the Church of 434, we encourage you to be on there and get your information on there because it's digital. But it used to be a book when it was said and done. And what would happen is that you would come and you would take these pictures. There would be family portraits and those portraits would be then um, offered to you in a package where you could purchase the pictures. They would end up in Christmas cards and gifts on people's walls, depending on what they did. Some of them, would just, they blew them out and had these massive paintings of the picture done. And, and it was formatted in such a way that it would hang on the wall above a mantle somewhere or in a hallway somewhere. Um, and if you had been at church a long time, you could actually see a family mature and age. And always intriguing to me to see those, to go back and look maybe at some of those old albums, but also to see the way that uh, people dress, uh, the hairstyles, and what I get a kick out of is the look on people's faces. Because when you look at those portraits, you can tell beyond a shadow of a doubt who wanted to be there that day in the portrait and who had no desire to be there at all. Usually, it was the guys or the dad in the family that didn't really want to be dressed up in the picture. He'd be looking like this. Well, everybody else would be smiling. Uh, usually, uh, the kids were grinning and standing uh, way too stiff like they never would in real life. Um, usually, mom was most relaxed, but she was just masking the fact that it had taken her so much to be able to get to that moment. Uh, and at the end of the day, then you would have the dad, more often than not, looking grumpy. Not happy to be in the picture. And all you have to do is look at the picture and see it. Uh, we get snapshots of people at various times over the course of a day and over the course of a lifetime. But when you get a snapshot of the person, you have to remember that sometimes in that snapshot you're not getting the whole story and what really matters is not necessarily the look on the face but what's in the heart because sometimes the look on the face can deceive you but it's the heart that matters. Now, as a follower, you need to make sure that what's in your heart registers to your face and make sure that you're a living, breathing portrait of who God is to a world that needs to see it. But at the same time, don't be too judgmental about those pictures because we've all got them in our background. Um, so just smile at them, laugh at them, and move away from them. Don't read too much into them uh, and realize that when we get serious about life, we look at the heart and see what the heart has to show. Just something to think about. I'll join you next time here in the Carpenter Shop.